someone who's you know uplifting them and making them push harder but just admit that you don't want to date a broke dude no i don't want to date a broke dude but, hey okay, and i respect that because let the record show let the record reflect <laughs> if you are poor <laughs> If you work don't minimum slide. wage, <laughs> do not slide, dog. I'm You're telling you, that shot, dog. she's not going to open it. <laughs> she can smell the no. fucking poverty from the DM, me. dog. <laughs> yes, bro. Get to the money and slide. Get to the money and slide. Free all the bros inside. Free all the bros inside. Play with the bros, you die. Huh. Yeah. Get to the money and slide. Huh. Free all the bros inside. Yeah. Huh. Play with the bros, right, you die. Right, huh. Mm-hmm. Hey man, say man, it's the Got 15 Podcast coming back, man. Volume two, man. Par who knows. And we got a special guest to my left. Go ahead and shout yourself out. My name is Victoria, and my Instagram is that girl Vicky with two Y's. Y'all make sure y'all go follow her. Y'all know the vibes, man. Follow me on sure. IG at Michael.Porter, man. Follow me on Instagram at it's Chan Man One. Follow me Ooh. at You know what? I wasn't even gonna <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even gonna do it this time. That's the that's the craziest part. But I'm follow sorry, the bro. greatest <laughs> nigga ever. Oh, wow, the only greatest nigga ever yet, yeah, Mike. Wow. Okay. Follow the energy, bro. For follow sure. the producer at XIV Daily, bro. Chan, what you got for us today, bro? So, heard some crazy shit. Crazy. Vicky said, "Oh, that. <laughs> <laughs> Why everybody jumped? Like that? <laughs> that was um, suspenseful. Bro. Said, it was." Um, Applebee's is a terrible first date. Damn. Why is that? I just feel like let's hear you this. <laughs> let's. <laughs> yes, let's hear this. But I just feel like yeah. you haven't really put any thought into it. Almost as if like it's almost the same thing as like McDonald's or Wendy's. Damn. Damn. That would also be a terrible first date. Oh, like you agree? You? I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, anyway, That's go ahead. Same. Go ahead, go ahead. Would you okay? Let me ask you this then. Would you uh would you put Applebee's and Chili's on the same level? Yeah. Okay. Aren't so they aren't they the same um company? They probably are. are they? Own I think they're owned by the same company. Yeah, they they the same. They're designed the same way. Yeah, I can way. see that. One but is definitely you, better than the other though. So. Which one's better, bro? Which one is Chili's. better? He's Chili's. Chili's, uh, is, Chili's, Chili's is better. Chili's better. Chili's really the same. <laughs> so are you also comparing Applebee's to McDonald's as well? That's crazy. I'm just saying. That's crazy. I'm just saying all of them. It's like. You haven't really put any thought so into it. So you wouldn't appreciate someone trying to take you out to Applebee's. So how much? I mean, how much thought do you would you want them to put in the first date? They don't know you. And what are some acceptable restaurants to go to? I feel like dressing up and going out. It doesn't even have to be expensive, like the Cheesecake Factory. You can dress up and go to Applebee's. <laughs> who, who dresses up and goes to Applebee's? Nah, that's crazy. I mean, that was, that you gonna wear a dress and a suit to Applebee's? Nah, that's okay, crazy. dress and suit is OD for a first date. That's as OD well. for a first date. That's not OD. You better, for you better be happy to get a collared what? shirt. Get <laughs> yeah, collared shirt for a date's crazy. Collared shirt, like that's a lot. That's crazy. For the first date, yeah, the dress shirt bro. for the first. Because date. So, right, no, I don't no, even know no, if you're no, first. No, forget all that. What is your ideal first date? Like, where do you want to go? What do you want to do? I actually went on my ideal first date, but y'all not going to like it. Well, let's hear it. Talk to us. <laughs> I was going to say. Um, basically, he flew out to come see me. Kayla knows what I'm talking about. We've already he started. Flew out, <laughs> he flew out to come see me. We dressed up. We had, like, um, it wasn't color coordinated, but we kind of, like, matched the, both matched the vibe that we were going for. I mm-hmm. wore a nice dress. And some heels. He was wearing a suit, and we went to the Melting Pot. It's okay. a fondue place. How long have y'all been talking at this point? Sound like prom. We had known each other before, but we um, I guess we officially started talking for like what like it was probably like four weeks to a month. Four weeks. That's a month. Okay. A month. Okay. Y- y'all talk like like heavily everyday type of shit. Well, yeah, pretty much. I mean, like he he didn't live in Georgia, so. Yeah, no it was choice kind of like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. it was no choice. Okay, so to to took you to the melting pot. How how much was the ticket? I know, I know you ain't pay, but how much was the ticket? How you know I ain't pay? Because I know you ain't pay. I know you ain't pay. Let's be real. Let's be real. Let's be real. Like like if you had to guess, you said ideal you know. first date. Well, well like I said, y'all aren't gonna like it because I don't I don't think that it's in a college student's budget. So let's hear. it. It was like over three hundred dollars. Okay. So, now so, listen, I'm not, now listen. Hey man, we got to take a quick break from the podcast. A shout out to today's sponsor, man, Taste Vita. If you want to get your nut 
tasting a little different, man. Just go ahead and hop, hop on these, man, on these taste vitamins. I'm telling you, it's cruelty free, non GMO, man, all natural ingredients, man. And you can and look, it also changed the smell of the Gucci, bro. Just go ahead and tap in with us, man. Hey, I know some dudes don't be getting the job done. No, so they, they do offer the big black dildo right here. It's called the stallion. Big so if you feeling horny, want to get freaky, this is the thing for you. $21. Come shop. Now, let me introduce you to your number one teammate right here. This is the Black Rose. Not the regular Black Rose. Mm. It's the Black Rose with the thus thrusting vibrator, thrusting? my guy. Yeah, so this is your number one teammate. This is your ally right here. This is going to help you and your girl get to where y'all need to be, man. Go ahead and shop with Taste Vita and get you a Black Littoral Rose with the thrusting vibrator. Wow. And if you think those are cool, man, they got hella toys for y'all on the website. Go ahead and check out Taste Vita, man, for all your little freaky knees, man. I'm not saying that... A first date has to be over three hundred dollars. I'm not saying it has mm. to be two hundred dollars. I'm not even saying that it has to be one hundred dollars. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you I'm are. just saying that you have to put in a little bit more effort and more into money. Okay, not more money. You could take a girl out. But what if he? What if the dude says, "Let's get dressed, color coordinate, and we can go to Applebee's." What? 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 What extra <laughs> on a effort first they, date? What extra right. effort and, did and, he and, put and, in? And, and like, like he brings they, you a gift like what what does he need to do like what's wrong with Applebee's I just think that that's not really like that's just so what's the word childish it's not childish it's just like it's not giving huh it's not <laughs> it's not giving like why would you dress up and go like y'all want to go get dressed up and be like or for Mother's Day you want to go and be like, oh, mom, we're going to dress up. We're going to go to Applebee's. Like, no, you're going to take her to a nice okay, restaurant. Okay, there's definitely a lot of people that probably took their mom to Applebee's. Yeah, you just, I'm just saying. on a lot of <laughs> <laughs> But look, here's my, here's my thing with that. With that. So, let me try to figure out how to word this. So, I feel like uh, doing that is such a commitment. Like, you're, especially a financial commitment. <laughs> you talking about taking out to a, a nice restaurant when she's made no commitment to me. You see what I'm saying? Later on that night, she could go get some dick from somebody else. Shit. <laughs> it doesn't have to be... Could she not? Well, like I had said earlier... Could she not? No, she could. So and, could and, he. And, 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 and it'd be within her right, too. You, you, you'd you almost promote that shit. So why would, it, why would a man... Especially if the body count don't matter. That's what I'm saying. Uh, so why would a man Why would a man go do that? Like, what's, the, what's in it for him to do that? Because then, also, he's not obligated. I mean, she's not obligated to smash a nigga. Right? What, what would you want it... What would you want it to be in it? Wait. <laughs> I, th- <laughs> I, 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 I think a first date should be something casual. What do you want? Casual. What would you want? I think a first Some date should play. be something, something, something casual, Some bro. Play. <laughs> what, for the first date? I mean, if you're dropping... Three if days. I'm doing that, I, I, I'm going to... Me personally... <laughs> I'm going to take that shit as a sign that you feeling me to the point where you're trying to get taken back to the crib. You see what I'm saying? So, if you had a daughter and she took... Or and she got taken out on a date mm-hmm. and she went on to a nice date and the guy was like, Oh, well, I took her out on a nice date. I should be able to smash. Well, are that's you what, are you how, letting how, that slide? How, how old is my daughter at this point? Any age. I mean not any age, but yeah, like facts. I guess like I mean, our age. She, like, like you said, once she's an adult, she's, she's an adult. Grown. But if she's still, you know, in my house on some shit, you're not going on no three hundred dollar date because I know how niggas are. Yeah, I'm yeah. not letting you at the house with with, yeah. with the baller nigga because I know what the baller niggas what, what, what he's on. Yeah. He 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 want to drop this bread and then so you can drop, drop some goddamn dick. draws, nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's that simple as like, that. That sounds like something that men need to change because you can't just because you take a girl out to get some food does not mean that you're entitled right. for sex right. and, have, and which is which is perfectly fine which is which is fine because and that's why i won't do that and even if it's a lot of money if it's hurting your pockets like that to where you feel like oh man three hundred dollars dang i'm gonna have to get something after this why are you dating hmm. you know what i'm saying you don't have, like i said before though I at the be very making, be- it don't matter how much money if I'm going to spend $300 on a meal. You feel like you're entitled for sex. I don't. But that's why I'm not going to spend $300 on a meal on somebody that yeah, I know no, I can't I'm have. not in a yeah, relationship yeah. with. Yeah, that's yeah. craziness to me. Why would you go out with somebody that you don't see yourself with? You have to find out. That's what how, a first date is. How do I know you? I, I don't I don't like. Cause for example, right? For example, right? If, if I'm going up to a girl, right? 
we get the chopping within the first couple of days. I'm like, hey, you know what I'm saying? You, you trying to go go out to eat or some shit? I'm, you, know, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take you out. You know, shit. In the first week, that's in, that's in the first week and a half or so. In your case, it's, it's slightly different because y'all had a rapport. Y'all already had some form of relationship. Like you said, it's been going on for a month. So for him to then, you know what I'm saying, splurge a little bit, okay, that make a little bit more sense than a nigga to come approach you off, off the street and be like, look, let me take you out. Let's go to the melting pot, put on the goddamn lavender, and I'm a match with you. That's crazy. The lavender. The, lavender. the, the craziest color. Even <laughs> if, we, if, we, if we color coding at the melting pot, we got to we gotta <laughs> no, step a I was little bit. Saying, that was just one example, but I'm just saying that even – not that not being an example where I've known him and just a guy have saying, oh, I want to take you out on a date and let's go do this, blah, blah, blah. Let's go to go out to eat. Let's go do this. Let's, do, let's go do this. You know what O'Charlie's Still. is? You know what O'Charlie's <laughs> is? I know what O'Charlie's is. So a dude DMs you and he says, you know, hey, let, next week, let's go out um, to O'Charlie's. I'm going to come pick you up. And then afterwards, we can go see a movie. Like, is that, a, is that good enough? Smooth. Like I guess I guess for I me guess, it's it's I just guess. a personal it's just a personal thing mm. for me personally. How much you want your nigga to make right now? Touch shit. What do you mean? Like a month. Like, like how much would you expect your your like if you if you was in a serious relationship with somebody right now, how much how much would you expect him to be making a month? And he's our age? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know. I don't go out with, with guys that are my age. Okay, so well, I wouldn't well, be excuse able to, me. Let, let me I rephrase my question to, then. The whatever age of nigga that you like, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever your ideal uh age of nigga is right now, how much should he be making? Enough to where three hundred dollars is not hurting his pockets. So what, like five bands a month? Five, five, six, sixty racks a year. Seven. Whatever. It doesn't matter how much, as long as you're saving. But I'm just saying, as long as it's not hurting his pockets, that's so just he that's just, needs just to the, be able to spend three hundred dollars on a meal. So you're a no, rich he, nigga then. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying he has to spend three hundred dollars on a meal. I was just using that as an example. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that if all I was saying, but before, basically, the moral of the story is: <laughs> if you are broke, why are you dating? Oh you shouldn't God. be broke and be dating. You need to be worried about your money, and that's it. I agree with that a little bit. I I also don't disagree with that point. Like you yeah. shouldn't be out here. You know what I'm saying? Trying to. Oh, like broke and horny is overstep the same your shit. means. Yeah, I mean, broke people still However, deserve love, though. However, no. <laughs> However, <laughs> damn. What? <laughs> just said, oh, yeah, that's crazy. You said broke you, people don't deserve love. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's exactly what you said. <laughs> that's exactly what you said. <laughs> I'm saying that you need to be focused on your bag. You don't need to be focused on girls. You don't need to be focused on any of that. You need to be focused on getting your money up. Because that's, sure. that's the at the end of the day, you only have yourself. So if you're sitting here and you're trying to get a girl, you're trying to go around and, and see how many girls you can get with and yada yada yada. You your priorities aren't set straight. You wouldn't date a teacher, would you? I don't know. I mean, it's a no. It's a no. It's a no. I really like. I, okay, no. only I, because only because I have because he's poor. A cert- that's what it is it's because he's poor he's average I'm not saying that I want to date a teacher I'm just saying that I have standards that I've set for myself like a goal that I want I want to be a high six figure earner by 25 500,000 $500, and up that's what I'm trying to be making by 25 years old so I'm trying to I'm searching for somebody who's not poor no, not th- it's it's fair. You just have to admit it. I swear to God, I'm not <laughs> knocking you for that because okay. just just it's like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, just have your preferences and admit it though, because it's cool. Because like yeah. I like I said the last episode, I want you to find somebody who can do that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? No, I agree with that. However, like you said, most most especially most college niggas. 300 on the first date is crazy. 300 on, you like, know what I'm saying? If, like, if anybody told me, like, one of my friends told me they spent $300 on the first date, I would clown I them. had to slap that nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's embarrassing. I had to slap that nigga. No. I'd be like, because what, what are you doing? What are you doing? No, I feel that. And yeah. that's not, it's not really a college, a college friendly budget. And that's why I don't, I don't, the guy, he was not in college. You know what I mean? So it's like, I mean, shit. I, I feel like, yeah, personally for me, it's just, it's just my preference. I want to be dating somebody that's going to match and the I goals agree. that I, I like have and the have lifestyle that I want. Someone who's you know uplifting them and making them push harder, but just admit that you don't want to date a broke dude. No, I don't want to date a broke dude. Hey, okay, and I respect that. The, let the record show. Let the record reflect. <laughs> if you are poor, 
If you work don't minimum slide. wage, <laughs> do not slide, dog. I'm you telling you, that shot, dog. she's not going to open it. <laughs> she can smell the no. fucking poverty from the DM, me. dog. <laughs> yes, bro. And with that being said, man, it's been the Got 15 Podcast. And we out there. Peace. Brr. Get to the money and slide. Get to the money and slide. Appreciate y'all popping out to the podcast, man. Make sure y'all leave a like. Go ahead and comment something. And hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss any of our videos. And make sure you subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive behind the scenes videos posted weekly. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TikTok, and I already know we're on YouTube, man. Go check us out everywhere. Show.